Not gonna lie, this is gonna be a little bit painful, but I'll survive. What's up, I'm Hawaiian Turtle, and we have another Hidden Fates opening. Happy Labor Day to everyone, uh, especially for anyone that means Labor Day means they do have the day off. Hope you're able to enjoy it and get some rest and relaxation. Uh, today is going to be a bit of a bittersweet opening in that we are going to crack open this sealed case of Hidden Fates pin collections. I was really hoping to keep this sealed, however we gotta open more packs and we're out of boxes so we're gonna get into this thing. Ah, uh, it's gonna be a little painful, but uh, we will survive. Whew, and just like that, the seal has been broken to mourn the loss of this sealed case. We're gonna open not one, but two of the pin collections. Let's do this. All right, the box has been opened and the case kind of looks kind of cool. I always like how they do like these display things. Um, although most, most stores, I mean, only LGSs would ever do this. Uh, versus most like big big box stores they just have them like on their on their wall or something but all right let's get two boxes we'll do one of each as per usual all right so under a week before the tins hit the hit the shelves and I'm super excited about that and uh, yeah so it's been some time since Hidden Fates has dropped and I don't know what do you guys think I feel like the hype is still very real part of me was wondering if yes of course it'll be big in the beginning but then a little bit later after a little bit it will cool off I feel like that hasn't happened and people are still hyped as ever people are still struggling to find the products I wonder if the tins will change that if like that will kind of be the not the flood, but the the introduce the influx of supply that the market kind of needs to settle. You know, maybe the the shiny Zards will go down in price from their ridiculous like four hundred dollar mark. A couple of code cards for you guys, and ooh, feels good to have six packs versus just the three. Feel like we have the uh, the ammo we need to get some really good pulls. And all right, without further ado, guys, we're here for the opening. Let's get into our first pack. As always, if you do want to support the channel, you can do so by hip simply hitting that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram. Join the Discord. All the information about that is down below in the description. Check out the eBay store if you want. All right, pack one. We got Brock himself, a Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu. Clee Fairy, a Cubone, oh nice, a Charizard GX, we're getting a good number of these and I'm okay with that, although I really want his, uh, his sparkly friend, and we also have a Reverse Jolteon, that is a pretty good pack, Jolteon, at least it is a Reverse Rare, so it's better than many other reverses but uh, let's get this is this is hidden face this is the shiny set let's get some shiny Pokemon moving into pack number two all right fighting energy Metapod Pokemon Center lady Scyther a Slowpoke Voltorb Pikachu Ekans, looking at that rainbow, coughing, a Clefable, and, oh wait, is that the rare? It is. And we have, oh, nice! Man, these packs are good. Oh, the sealed box. Oh, who knew? All we had to do was break open a fresh case, and then the good pulls, which just come pouring out. We got Inke. I believe this is not our, our second one. However, I do like Inke, because uh, the Malamar is super strong. So far, this first collection box is proving to be quite good. Psychic Energy, Sabrina, Charmeleon, 
Misty, Magikarp, a Staryu, Voltorb, kind of looks like, I'm not sure if he's charging equipment or the char equipment's charging him. <laughs> Hope they're not like torturing him or something. Ooh, another GX, we got a Wigglytuff, we are getting a good amount of Wigglytuffs. <laughs> and for, ooh, oh wait, nope, Jigglypuff turns into Wigglytuff, for some reason, like, since they just have similar color, I just, just jumped automatically to, oh wait, this evolves into it, but nope. So another GX, another uh, straight GX, and we did get one shiny Pokemon. All right, so for that first pin collection, I would give that a 7 out of 10, like very consistent hits, but uh, definitely, you know, there, there are bef definitely better hits that we are looking for. So we'll see if we can't get them right here. Psychic Energy, Charmeleon, Brock, Farfetch'd, he really likes that, what is that, like a reed or something? Paris, Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke, and, oh, no, oh, and <laughs> Erica's Hospitality. Um, I feel like this card, whenever it's used against me, it's like, oh wow, that card's really good, but then, I feel like I never want to use it. <laughs> And then a oh there's the Jigglypuff that turns into the Wigglytuff. All right, that was a not so good pack. We got two more shots at something really good. All right, Dark Energy, Charmeleon, Graveler, Farfetched, a Magikarp. Star you, Voltorb, Pikachu, then Jigglypuff, is this it? Zapdos is our rare or hollow. And then Ooh! Whoa whoa whoa! <laughs> Shiny Malamar. Alright, that's a very good hit. And we got in this opening we got not just the Malamar but the Inke as well. Alright, last pack. This has been a great opening. Uh rip. For the sealed case, but so far definitely a worthwhile sacrifice, I guess. Something about uh, sealed product is just really cool, and um, I think it's just one of those things where like you can't reseal it. So when you, once when you break the seal, it's like oh, there it goes, it's gone forever. All right, we got Giovanni, Brock's Gym, Geodude, Cubone, Eevee. Clefairy, a Psyduck, doesn't look so good, a Mew, I really like that art, oh wait, is this the rare? I believe so, focus, focus, there we go, alright, for our last pack, thanks for watching guys, here we go, we have a Clefairy, so, didn't get anything in that last one, but really happy with our hits, we got <laughs> two, two GXs and two regular Shinies, GXs, we got Wigglytuff and Charizard. Boom. Curious if the the tin will just be the straight thing or just have like a promo symbol instead. And then for our shinies, we got Inke, which turns into Malamar. Very cool. It's kind of cool that we pulled both of those. Um, all right, so that's it for today's video, guys. As always, uh, if you uh, like, blah, like, comment, and subscribe all down below uh the tins are really getting really close to release so i'm super excited about that look forward to a lot of those openings and um yeah thanks for watching guys i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time